In this video, we are going to see about five important inventors in our aeronautical history and also about the Aeronautical Society of Great Britain. Our first inventor is William Somville Henson. His period is 1812 to 1888. He lived during the same period as Cayley. Also, he used the fixed wing concept of Cayley and designed one monoplane in 1843 named Aerial Steam Carriage. Also, he published this design and sold around the world for getting the worldwide publicity. Here we can notice one thing. Cayley's contribution to our aeronautical engineering is vast but Cayley not know about the importance of publicity about his ideas. That's why his uh, all works went unnoticed in that time period. This aerial steam carriage have steam engine to produce thr thrust with two propellers. It has some qualities of modern aircraft that is engine inside a closed fuselage with two propellers. Engine in this closed fuselage, this all are the two propellers and then tricycle landing gear. Nowadays our most of the commercial aircrafts having this tricycle landing gear right and then single rectangular shaped single rectangular shaped wing of high aspect ratio high aspect ratio wing means the long and narrow wing this aerial stream carriage was never built and flew but it indirectly helped to our Kaili. that means other subsequent inventors used the Kaili's ideas without knowing the true source right in this manner we can call it as one of the most influential aircrafts in history and then we are moving to our next inventor, John Stringfellow. He was a friend of Henson. He built several small steam engines and uh, tried to power some model monoplanes. But they were all always unsuccessful. His most recognized work was the steam powered triplane. This was a model plane only. Like other monoplanes of Stringfellow, this was also unsuccessful. But it shown at the 1868 first aeronautical exhibition. That's why it got some popularity in that time. And then the illustration of this triplane where later had a strong influence on Octachonet. Octachonet also the another inventor. He influenced from this triplane through him through Octachonet. The Wright brothers also influenced from this triplane. Also this model triplane was the bridge between Kalis multiplane concept to the modern biplanes this is the string fellows model triplane exhibited in the first aeronautical exhibition right and then our third inventor is felix du temple he was a french naval officer and engineer between 1857 to 1858 he flew the first successful powered model airplane in history with swept forward wings in also in 1874 he built and flew the world's first powered full size airplane but assisted takeoff this is his uh, first powered full size airplane with swept forward wings this airplane was powered by hot air engine it launched down in a inclined plane but uh, it not attain the sustained flight that means our aeronautical historians give some criteria to say any flight is sustained or not in that manner this airplane not satisfied those criteria of sustained flight then our fourth uh, fourth inventor is alexander f mosaiski he designed the second powered airplane in 1884 this also had assisted takeoff like new temples airplane this was a steam powered monoplane and also its design was a direct descendant from henson's aerial steam carriage it was launched from ski ramp but uh, it was also not sustained flight this is the mosaiski aircraft this is one is a ski ramp uh, we can able to see the steam from engine though dew temple and mosaiski not achieved the sustained flight their works helps for the development of aeronautics in 19th century right we are going to see about the Aeronautical Society of Great Britain. It was great, created in 1866 in London. Now it is named as the Royal Aeronautical Society. In 1868, the society conducted the first aeronautical exhibition. We already see the Stringfellow's unsuccessful plane exhibited in the first aeronautical exhibition. But this exhibition did nothing to the 
technical aspects of aviation but it created some good public relation also it give some idea about uh, flying missions to the normal people the aerial locomotion is the classic in our aeronautical engineering history this paper was uh, read by francis wenham in the society then who is that francis wenham means so he was the important person in the aeronautical society of great britain and then francis wenham he was the marine engineer he was the one who built the first wind tunnel in history his paper published in the first annual report of the society this paper having two important points about aerodynamics first one is most of the lift of the wing obtained from the portion near the leading edge we all know about this point and the next point is uh, using the high aspect ratio that is the long narrow wing we can able to produce more lift compared to the small wider wing and then our fifth inventor of this video is otto lilly and the period is 1840 to 1896 he was called as the glider man he was the giant in aeronautical engineering he was a man comparable to kelly and right brothers he was born on 1848 at prussia now germany he was a mechanical engineering graduate in 1889 he published one book named bird flight as the basis of aviation this was another classic in our aeronautical engineering history this book contains the detailed aerodynamic data studied from the different structure and types of birds wings also he used this aerodynamic data to design the mechanical flight and then uh, the translated version of this uh, bird flight as a base of aviation book read by right brothers and they used this data in their 1919 glider designs and then the same 1889 he said one concept that is if you want to learn about practical aerodynamics means you should get up in the air to feel the real experience about the air and its reaction this concept is called as the airman concept also he was a first airman to put this philosophy in practice airman philosophy in practice he designed two gliders in 1889 and in 1890 but both were unsuccessful in 1891 he achieved his first successful glider and lily and the last pilot this is uh, the lily and the uh, first successful glider he is lethal okay the glider have cambered airfoil shape on the wing and vertical horizontal tail tail plane for stability also it was the long uh, hang glider hang glider means to take off the aircraft the pilot should jump from the side of the hill so lilienthal built one artificial hill about 50 feet high to take off his gliders gibbs smith differentiate the chauffeurs and the airman who is chauffeur and who is airman chauffeurs are having interest on thrust and lift of the aircraft only that means chauffeurs felt that they need strong engine and airframe structure to produce thrust and lift at all and the other flight control the steering of airplane are simple like an automobile on the ground the chauffeurs felt like this so they were all unsuccessful but airman like otto lilienthal felt that the flight control is more important before mount the engine on the aircraft we should get the real feel of an aircraft in the air so they were all successful so lilienthal also successful inventor in our aeronautical engineering so lilienthal was the first airman right and then he made over 2500 flights by using his own design gliders then the the photography and the photography field and the printing industry were rising in the same time period of photo lilienth so the photos of his gliders and his flights were widely distributed around the world as he was the first so we can say he was the first human to be photographed in an airplane such widespread distribution of his photographs and his paper inspired the other subsequent inventors also wilbur wright read some papers of lilly and then 1894 finally in august 9 1896 as usual he went to fly his glider from the hill but it was his bad time so his monoplane glider attained a stalling position and fell on the ground and crashed also lilly and was severely injured then he died in the next day lilly and was very close to 
build the powered airplane right almost he finished all the things about an airplane the only thing is uh, he not design the engine and mount on his aircraft right if he lived he might have invented powered airplane before right brothers thank you